Hello and welcome to the 11 o'clock news in Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Sofia Palace Greek businessman Speros Lethsis, who was greeted by His Majesty the King on the occasion of his visit to the kingdom. His Majesty welcomed the guest and hailed the deep rooted historic relations between Bahrain and Greece. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa yesterday evening visited the Majlis of the President of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid Al Khalifa, the Majlis of the Advisor of Media Affairs to His Majesty the King Nabil Hama and the Majlis of the Sons of the late Muhammad Yusuf Jalal. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince highlighted a range of successful development initiatives have contributed to the expansion of the kingdom's non-oil sector and helped ensure Bahrain remains the fastest growing economy in the region. He said further steps should be taken to expand online services, including commercial registration and building permit processes, in order to streamline business setup procedures and increase the private sector's contribution to the economy. He emphasised that investing in Bahrain citizens and encouraging innovation across all sectors both represent key objectives of the Kingdom's development programme led by His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness noted the important contributions of the national workforce to Bahrain's development, stressing that through their eagerness to turn challenges into opportunities, the Kingdom has made significant progress across key sectors in this regard. His Royal Highness noted Bahraini entrepreneurs' contribution to the Kingdom's development. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince added that Bahrain's Economic Vision 2030 focuses on advancing education and training sectors while recognising the role played by modern technologies in providing Bahrain's youth with the technical skills they need to support the economic growth. The Majlis hosts and guests expressed their gratitude for His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's visit and highlighted his role in supporting youth development and advancing skills within Bahrain's workforce.
The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs and Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Royal Charity Organisation, the RCO, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, welcomed the Real Madrid star player, Karim Benzema, while visiting the Real Madrid Academy in Reef Reviews. His Highness praised his efforts and achievements in sports and his many contributions, which made him a star in the world of professional footballers. He also praised Real Madrid's support for the Real Madrid Foundation Academy in Bahrain and the humanitarian and charitable initiative to support orphans, widows and needy people with its community partnership in this field. Real Madrid player Karim Mustafa Benzema visited the Real Madrid Foundation Academy of Bahrain as part of his visit to the Kingdom in order to learn about the Bahraini experience and his exerted efforts. For his part, Benzema expressed a sincere gratitude and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Nasser for his interest in youth energies and his support for the Real Madrid Foundation Academy in particular and for sports and charitable work in general. An agreement was signed between the RCO and Real Madrid Foundation whereby RCO was granted the right to operate the Real Madrid Foundation Academy of Bahrain given that RCO is a sponsor of humanitarian efforts in the Kingdom of Bahrain through the support of orphans, widows and the needy. In continuation of his visit to Bahrain, world-renowned football player Karim Benzema visited the Real Madrid Academy as part of an agreement between the Royal Charity Organization and the Real Madrid Foundation. The RCO is the sponsor of humanitarian affairs in the Kingdom of Bahrain through the support of orphans, widows and the needy. I am excited, of course, about the visit of the international player Karim Benzema to Bahrain and to Real Madrid in particular. We signed an agreement with them in 2011 until then we have, and since then we have trained 500 players we teach them not only football football is number four we teach them how to eat healthy food how to uh, study properly how to have uh, uh, good manners in life and on the playground and then the skill of football, but we have succeeded in our fourth objective very strongly. During his visit, Benzema learned about the humanitarian and charitable initiatives to support the orphans and the Bahraini experience and exerted efforts. The children were all very excited to meet him and were thrilled to be given the opportunity to play alongside one of their favorite football players. Today we're excited to have Benzema coming to Bahrain and we're very grateful for this opportunity to have the chance to play with him and meet him in real life. And we love Real Madrid and this player because he's such a great like idol for all of us. The thing I'm excited to is seeing all the kids coming here for one reason, Benzema. It's going to be a good thing for them. And uh, they are all excited to meet Benzema, to have some autographs, uh, pictures, snapshots, screenshots. Everybody is so excited and they keep asking when is Benzema coming. We are so excited that Benzema will be here and we'll play him and we'll win him. On his part, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the King's representative for charity work and youth affairs, praised Benzema's efforts and achievements in the field of sports and his many contributions. He also praised Real Madrid's support for the Real Madrid Charity Academy in Bahrain and the humanitarian and philanthropic initiative of the Real Madrid Foundation to support orphans, widows and needy people, stressing that it's an initiative in the interest of charitable work. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Shogh Mohammed. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated the United Arab Emirates Vice President, Prime Minister and ruler of Dubai, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, on being crowned champion of the British Classic Derby held in England. His Highness highlighted the development of UAE equestrian sport and the remarkable achievements it made as a result of the support of Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid. He asserted his belief that Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid's new achievement will not be the last and for his wise visit and successful strategy. He expressed pride in the achievement, healing the work team of Goldfin and the keenness in implementing the directives of Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid. Commander-in-Chief of the Bahrain Defence Force, the BDF, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, received today the Japanese Maritime Self-Defence Force Chief of Staff, Admiral Yukitara Murakara, and the accompanying delegation in the presence of Defence Affairs Minister Lieutenant General Yusuf bin Ahmed Al Jalama and BDF Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Thiab bin Saiga Al Noemi. 
the Commander-in-Chief welcomed the Japanese Admiral and discussed with him a number of topics that reinforced bilateral relations and cooperation and coordination between the two countries. The Shura Council held its weekly meeting today, presided over by its chairman, Ali bin Salah Asale, in which it approved the amendments made on a draft law, issuing the public health law. The Council also approved a draft law amending Article 30 of Decree Bylaw 3 of 2002 on the election system of municipal council members. The Minister of Education, Dr Masha bin Ali al Nuemi, has approved the results of examinations of the first term of secondary schools, technical schools and intermediate schools. The Minister congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al-Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad al-Khalifa, on such outstanding results, which reflects the support the Education March receives in the Kingdom. He also congratulated the students, their parents and their teachers for their great efforts. Upon the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to allocate 5,000 housing units to beneficiaries and in line with the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the support of the government led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, the Minister of Housing Bazan bin Yaqub Al Hama announced today that the Ministry has distributed the completed units in Khalifa sitting housing project. The Minister noted the importance of Khalifa sitting housing project, saying that it reflects the vision of His Majesty the King and the directors of the government, led by His Royal Highness the Premier, to speed up the process of meeting the housing needs of the people. Besides being a place of worship, the Fatah Grand Mosque is one of the premier tourist attractions in Bahrain. More in this report with Hiba Abdel Ghaffar. Al-Fatah Mosque is one of the largest mosques in the world, encompassing 6,500 square meters and having the capacity to accommodate over 7,000 worshippers at a time. The mosque was built by the late Sheikh Isa bin Salman al-Khalifa in 1987 and was named after Ahmad Al-Fatah, the founder of Bahrain. There is many activity. This mosque is uh, invite about 30,000 uh, non-Muslim very year and they do for them by, uh, by their language uh, many things introducing about Islam, what you know about Islam, what about, about cultures of Muslims. Besides being a place of worship, the mosque is one of the best tourist attractions in Bahrain. Our section is uh, very proud and very uh, happy about our achievements and the impact we have done for the visitors because we have seen on the TripAdvisor website that we are rated as the number one tourist attraction in Bahrain for the last 10 years in a row. And that is by itself is a great achievement. Uh, we have visitors coming from all over the world. Uh, we receive annually 40,000 visitors from more than 120 countries. And uh, most of the nationalities are like Europeans and America, we have Americans, Europeans, we have Chinese, we have Indians, Philippines, from all over the world. And uh, we have cruise ships coming regularly from uh, November till April yearly, around 15,000 to 18,000 visitors, mostly Germans and other Europeans like Spanish, Portuguese, Dutch and Italians. And we're get, getting an increasing number of visitors from the South America. But most of the visitors, when they come here, they feel very happy that we are welcome. We have an open policy that they are welcome to come here. They try our traditional dress. Women wear abayas and hijabs. The men wear thobes and the gutra and agal. They feel so happy that we are allowing them to come inside, share with them about our culture, about our faith, and they really leave a very positive impact. People of all faiths are welcome to visit one of the major tourist attractions to experience a cultural and historic experience like no other. It's open from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. and tours are conducted in a variety of languages including English, French, Filipino, Russian and many other languages. The mosque is closed to visitors and tourists on all Fridays. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Hiba Abdel Ghaffour.